Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering a question from the Solomon paper um, for C4, Solomon B. It's a question number one from my end of topic worksheet on parametric equations and a question number seven from this paper of Solomon B from the C4 collection. Um, this is for my P4 end of topic worksheets. Um, this question is about parametric equations. Um, this question here tells us that figure 2 shows the curve with parametric equations x equals minus 1 plus 4 cosine theta, y equals 2 root 2 sine theta, and theta is between 0 and 2 pi. The point p on the curve has coordinates 1 and pi over 6. Find the value of theta at p. Okay, so we need to find the value of theta at the point p. Now, at p, we know that the x value at p is 1 and the y value is root 6. This is a parametric equation, which is an equation given in terms of a third parameter. So x equals some function of theta and y is equal to some function of theta. That's how it's defined. So we want to find what theta is when x is 1 or what theta is when y is root 6. It should give us the same value for theta because that's the same point. So we could use either the x or the y coordinates. I'm going to use the x coordinate first and show you how it works for both of them. So I have 1 equals minus 1 plus 4 cosine theta. So I've replaced the x with 1 in this equation here. So then I have 1 plus 1, which is 2. 2 equals 4 cosine theta. And dividing by 4, I'll get a half equals cosine theta. So when cosine theta equals a half, theta is equal to in radians, um, it's going to be it's cosine of 60, so it's going to be pi over 3 radians. Cosine of 60 is equal to half, so cosine, as that means the angle in radians is pi over 3. So that's the answer for this question. As simple as that. If you want to, just, you know, if you wanted to use the, the y value, you could still use it. It's a bit more kind of work involved in this particular case, but still, there's no problem. So you have root 6 equals 2 root 2 sine theta. Now I've got to divide both sides by 2 root 2. So what I'll do is to make it easier for you to see what happens next. Root 6 is the same as root 3 times root 2. Divided by, that's 2 root 2. So I've divided both sides by 2 root 2. The two root, the root 2 is cancelled out. So you're left with sine theta is equal to root 3 over 2. And we know that if we find inverse sine of root 3 over 2 in radians, we're going to get um, pi over 360 degrees. Okay, so there's, you see the answer. You don't have to do both of them. Either of them is fine. I think using x is easier here. So that's A done. Okay. Then it says, show that the normal to the curve at P passes through the origin. Okay, so the normal to the curve at P passes through the origin. So we've got to find the normal to the curve at the point P. Now the normal um, is a straight line. The normal is a straight line. It's a straight line which is perpendicular to the tangent of the curve. So we need to find the gradient of the curve at the point P and then find the gradient of a line which is perpendicular to that gradient. And then we also need the point that the normal passes through, which is the point P, and we can work out the straight line, uh, the equation of the straight line. So we need to have the point P, which we do have, which is 1 root 6. We also know in addition that at P, theta is equal to uh, pi over 3. We have that information. Um, we need to find the gradient of the normal. So let's find the gradient of the tangent first, which is found by finding dy dx. So we need to find dy dx for this equation. Now dy dx, okay, we can't find it directly because we don't have x in terms of y. Um, and um, what we can do, therefore, to make life easier is to find use the chain rule to find dy dx. So dy dx is the same as dy d theta, which is that third parameter, times d theta dx. That will give you dy dx if you find that. So now we know that y is equal to, as we see, um, 2 root 2 times sine theta. That means dy d theta is going to be 2 root 2 times cosine theta. And we know that x equals minus 1 plus 4 cosine theta. So x equals minus 1 plus 4 cosine theta, so dx d theta, you can find dx d theta easily, okay, is what you get when you differentiate this with respect to theta. So dx d theta, well, the one minus one will become zero. You'll end up with four times 
Now, if you differentiate cosine theta, you get negative sine theta. So you end up with minus 4 sine theta. So dy d theta is 2 root 2 cosine theta and times 1 over, because we want to find d theta dx, which is the reciprocal of this. I don't want dx to theta, I want d theta dx. So I have to multiply by this by multiply this by 1 over that, which will leave us with minus 4 sine theta in the denominator. Um, and so that will simplify to dy dx is equal to minus a half, or you can say, just write it like this, easier probably. You can say that it's equal to negative uh, root 2 cosine theta over 2 sine theta. Okay, the 2's cancel out. Um, so we have, that's dy dx. So if you want to find the gradient of the tangent, the gradient of the tangent is when, this is when theta equals pi over 3. That's the point P, when theta equals pi over 3. So we replace um, the theta with pi over 3. So we have cosine of pi over 3 over 2 times sine of pi over 3. Okay, the cosine of pi over 3 is a half. So it's minus 2 times a half over, and the sine of pi over 3 um, is root 3 over 2. So it's 2 times root 3 over 2. That cancelled out. So we're left with basically, um, if, we re if, we, if we write this in its simplest form, we're going to have minus root 2 on top over 2 root 3 underneath. Okay, and if you simplify this by writing in simplified third form, you end up with minus root 6 over 6. That's 2 times 3. So minus root, minus root 6 over 6 is going to be the, um, you could say, the gradient okay, of the tangent. Minus root 6 over 6. But we need the gradient of the normal which is the negative reciprocal, so it will be 6 over root 6. Again, if we try to rationalize this, we'll end up with 6 times root 6 over 6, so you end up with positive root 6. That's the gradient of the tangent. Sorry, that's the gradient of the normal, as I, as I was meant to say. That's the gradient of the normal, is root 6, and we know that the point P is, as we we're told 1 root 6. So therefore, the, gra the gradient or the equation of the normal is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So you have y minus root 6 equals the gradient, which is root 6, times x minus 1. So in what form do they want it? Oh, it says show that the normal passes through the origin. Okay, so basically we'll see if we work this out, you're going to have y equals, or y minus root 6 equals x times root 6 minus root 6. And we'll see if we add root 6 to both sides, we end up with x times root 6. So we can see that when x equals 0, y equals 0, therefore the normal passes through the origin. Okay, so that, that we can see it passes through the origin because its equation has plus c is zero. You can think of it. The y-intercept is zero. So it normal passes through the origin. Okay, we can do it by putting x equals zero, y equals zero. So we ended up with uh, minus root six on both sides. When you add root six to both sides, the c term disappears. So therefore, it passes through the origin. And that's the answer to part b. So we showed that the normal to the curve passes through the origin. So we found the normal to the curve by finding the gradient of the curve, the expression for the gradient of the curve, found the gradient at the point P, and then the negative reciprocal of that was root 6, and then we used that with the point P values of uh, x and y to find the equation of the normal. Okay, so that's the answer to part um, B. Now for part C. Part C says find a Cartesian equation of the curve. Now, a Cartesian equation is found when you eliminate the um, values of x, um, of the, you, you eliminate the theta from the equation and you have something as y equals something in terms of x. That's how you find the Cartesian equation of a curve. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to eliminate the theta. Now, when you have cosine theta and sine theta, then life is made a lot easier for you 
um, in finding um, this as a in Cartesian form because what we can do is we can use identity that sine squared theta sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1 all right so if I make the first equation I have x equals minus 1 times 4 1 plus sorry plus 4 cosine theta if I make cosine theta the subject of this so I'll have x plus 1 over 4 equals cosine theta and if I take the other equation which is y equals 2 root 2 sine theta and I make sine theta the subject of this I'll have y over 2 root 2 sine theta okay and then I say sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1 now I can replace the sine uh, the sine squared theta with y over 2 root 2 or the sine theta with y over 2 root 2 I can square that I can replace the cosine theta with x plus 1 um, over 4 and I can square all of that and that's going to give me 1 I can connect them together using that so if I now simplify that I'll have y squared over 2 squared is 4 and root 2 squared is 2 4 times 2 is 8 so y squared over 8 plus and this will be x plus 1 I'll leave it as in that form over 16 equals 1 and that's enough that's fine for you to write a Cartesian equation that is a Cartesian equation you can leave it in this form if you want that's fine okay it's absolutely fine to leave it in this form you can make y the subject if you wanted to by doing 1 minus or you could get rid of the fraction multiply everything by 16 in which case you'll have 2y squared um, plus x plus 1 squared equals minus 1 and make the y the subject but this is absolutely fine to leave it in this form you have eliminated the theta from the equation and now this is in Cartesian form so it's absolutely fine to leave your answer in this form so other questions from this uh, particular paper um, which is the endotopic worksheet that I made for parametric equations you'll find in the playlist that should appear in this area over here other questions from um, the Solomon B paper from P4 or C4 can be found in this playlist over here um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel you can click this link and thank you for watching and see you soon